So, one of the biggest problems we face in the campground is getting our flags in the ground. That's right, these are first world problems and we're going to solve them today on the Happy Place Diaries. Stick around. We've all done it. We've all felt the pain of trying to get our flags with these metal flag trees in the ground. It's, it's just a pain in the butt. You get into rocky situations and they, they all end up bending like this. And it, it's just not a good situation, not a good place to be, especially when you're trying to hang your beloved flags or post your beloved flags. So anyway, I've come up with a great solution which cost $8 to fix all of this. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. Okay, the materials that you're gonna need for our solution to our flag problem is four tees, two elbows, two five foot sections, uh, four one foot sections, and two two foot sections. And essentially, we're making, I'll show you my, my high-tech blueprint. That's what we're making right there. So I just came back from the Home Depot and all of that material cost $8. And I probably could have got it cheaper, but eight bucks. So we're just tired of dealing with these metal uh, flag brackets that bend and you get into some campgrounds and you can't even use them because you're on a concrete pad or you're on rocks or whatever. So with my solution, we're gonna be able to mount two flags and a sign that I'm gonna modify. And then it'll just travel in, in one piece. I'm gonna paint it so it doesn't look like just regular PVC. And then we are going to uh, be able to have that at our camp to show everybody that we're happy campers. Anyway, I'll show you just how easy this is to assemble. Okay, again, real easy assembly. All I'm making essentially is a big frame. So my four one foot sections is going to be the feet. So we'll start at the feet. And what I'm gonna do is, now all of this is half inch PVC. Um, I was looking at going bigger, but I can't get the flags on something that's bigger. All right, so there's your first leg. I got a T, leg, leg. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole in the ends, and then I can put tent stakes through on windy days. So there's assembly number one. And I'm putting the ugly end in. So that's the manufacturer cut. That's the jerry cut. So the jerry cut goes inside the pipe. Leg number two is in. And then my two five foot sections, I'm gonna go uh, cut those in half. And then we'll show you what we're gonna do there. Stay tuned. Okay, I cut the five foot sections in half. Now I have two two and a half foot sections. And what I'm looking for is 30 inch is high. And yeah, I messed up. I bought an extra five foot section. That's okay. Actually, I bought a 10 foot section. I cut it into five. And my original math was right. But then I ended up finding these other, these little lengths that are pre-cut. And uh, ended up using those so now I have two extra two and a half foot sections. That's okay, I'll find a use for them. 
but here's here's going to be uh, where we're going with this. I'm going to have to cut these, but what I want to do is I'm going to find a way to mount this in here. And so what I want to do is I want to measure that down and then cut it and then put the T across here. So what I need is give me an elbow. And what I did was I got a two foot section because each flag is a foot wide. So here's a two foot section that's going to go in here like so. Now I can put two flags wide and then this will ha hang in the middle. I know exactly how I'm going to do that. And then another elbow, other elbow, and then my other section that I'm going to end up cutting so that I could get the T on there. Okay, so that's that's essentially my frame. Now I need to measure down to right there. And that still gives me plenty of room to hang my flags. Perfect. All right, cut those down 10 inches. Now we're going to take a T. We're going to put the T in here. Put the other T in here. Our other two foot section goes in here. And then that goes in the T. All right, there's our frame. And then we'll hang flags from here. And then I'm going to put the legs on. And I'll zoom out here and show you what we got. Okay. And there's, there's our flag stand. So the idea is to take these flags off. If we ever need to change flags or whatever the case may be, we can always change flags out. All right, and then we're going to put this one right in here. Get that nice and level there. We'll get this one hung right in there. And that's gonna do it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill, there's a hook right here and a hook right here. I'm gonna drill two holes in there and then just hang that in the middle. I'm going to paint it all up. I think I'm going to paint it yellow. Or maybe blue. We'll see. But that works out really good. And it's a better solution. It's a way better solution than those metal racks. All right, that's the assembly. Now let's get her painted. 